According to the U.S. Census Bureau, every day 10,000 Americans are turning 65 years of age. So the topic of mental aging is relevant to all of us. We recently sat down with two researchers to find out what we can do to delay the onset of mental decline. With normal aging, there is a slowing down of neurons, the speed at which they can communicate, but also overall you tend to lose those cells with age. So there is a, a overall shrinkage of, of the brain uh, that occurs, especially in more advanced age. Now a lot of us in the public are a little confused about the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's. Dementia is just a general term that refers to a cognitive problem that is affects your ability to do your everyday activities like managing your managing your money or um, remembering to take your medications. There's a lot of different causes of dementia, um, but the most common cause is something called Alzheimer's disease, which refers to a specific disease which is caused by the buildup of two proteins in the brain. One protein is called amyloid and one protein is called tau. And over time, as these proteins accumulate, they injure nerve cells and that causes symptoms, which usually start first with short-term memory loss and over time progress to, to affect other parts of cognition and ultimately your ability to take care of yourself. Now, I think a lot of people are wondering, well, when is it gonna start happening? So let's talk about the age. I know it can happen at a very early age, doctor. Just this morning I was seeing a patient that started getting symptoms at age 23. It's luckily a very rare form of, of Alzheimer's disease. Your risk for developing Alzheimer's disease goes up significantly after you hit about 80 or 85. So the, the risk of, for someone who's between 65 and 75 of developing Alzheimer's disease is about 1 in 250, but the risk of someone who's over 85 of developing Alzheimer's disease in the next year is about 1 in 13. So that leads us to the question, what can we do to perhaps either prevent it or delay it? We think that everything that's good for the heart is good for the brain as well. So we encourage everybody to exercise. It helps get your blood pumping and helps your brain get enough the blood that it needs. A generally healthy diet, in particular a Mediterranean style diet, has evidence for preventing or slowing cognitive symptoms and then taking care of the same risk factors that can cause heart disease. So if you have high blood pressure, making sure you're working with your primary care doctor to have it well controlled. Um, if you have diabetes, same thing, working with your primary care doctor to make sure it's really, really under good control. Good luck with the wonderful research that you're doing.